everybody good morning or good afternoon wherever you're at it's morning here and it's probably I think it's like 10 degrees outside I'm not sure I haven't been outside yet so are you ready I have my granddaughter here and she's like don't tell them I'm here I want to surprise them are you ready to surprise them there she is guess what we've been doing all day today you want to tell them what we've been doing uh, today we, I saw Ethan and we, and we and Ethan ate cinnamon rolls. Oh, she saw Ethan. He was over earlier. What else have we been doing today? Um. We've been tearing out the carpet. We tore, no, well, no. And we cleaned the floor. I tore out more carpet last night. I don't know if you follow my carpet journey. It's going slow, but it's going. So let me show you what I did so far. And we cleaned up the black mark. Yep, we so far we have this much out. Yeah, and and we and we tear some carpet. We I have this, you know, I got all that to go. I did under this chair. I did. I was able to move the chair. My husband's gonna have to help me with that piece, and I could do this. And my dog is lost, let me tell you. So this is what we got so far. My dog is still lost because it doesn't know where to lay. My dog has no idea where to lay. So usually, I don't know, we're going to have to get the dog a bed. But I don't want to do that either because I don't have that much room in here for a dog bed. Piece of carpet will work. Well, I'll get it. Well, no, actually, I'm planning on getting a rug for the center. So maybe the dog will enjoy the rug. I don't know. If not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm off to my mother's right now, my mom and dad's. I have some computer work to do at my mom's. She, I help her out with some stuff, so I'm going to go help her out. What are you doing? She's shutting herself in the bedroom. Why don't you put your socks on so we could go to Grammy and Grandpa's? She helped me wash the floor this morning, and of course we both got soaking wet. I said, you know what? You need to wring your rag out. Well, let me tell you, a four-year-old doesn't know how to wring their rag out. And we all got wet. Sleeves, pants, shirt, everything. We just got soaked. All right, so I'm going to head to my mom's house now. So, finally, out the house. Where did you put your socks when I told you to put your socks somewhere? On her hands. She put her socks. I said, put your socks and shoes on. She puts them on her hands. And says, I'm ready. No, you're not. No, you're not. So then I put her coat on, zipped her coat up. It's unzipped by the time we get to the car. And I said, why is your coat not zipped? Well, I think the wind did it. I don't think that the wind did that. Do you think that the wind unzipped your coat? Yeah. I don't think so. Then the dog had to go outside and pee. And Lukey wasn't here, so she got to do it. But it's like. Can we ever get out of the house? My goodness. Then I come outside. My neighbors are burning their garbage. And it smells terrible. They do this like once a week. And I know that, I don't, I know there's no burning garbage where I live. I, they just do it. They just do whatever they want. This is the neighbor that I'll link a video at the end if I can, or put it in the cards, or it might be in the description. Look, read, look in my description because I know I could put it there. We had a drive-by shooting and they were shooting at those people at the neighbor's house. So go watch that video. But I know you shouldn't be burning garbage. All right, can we see this? There's like, oh, now the billows of smoke quit. But there's like billows of, there it comes. Billows of smoke coming from them. Crazy neighbors. And, burning the and it garden. smells absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. It's stinking up the whole neighborhood like burned plastic and everything else. I called the police on the neighbors. I didn't call the emergency like 911. I called the the non-emergency number. If they weren't such a go back and watch the video because I've got that I, that I told you to watch because if the neighbors weren't such a nuisance it's a rental house and there's always screaming and yelling and 
there's cars pulling up and a lady or a kid going out and doing some transaction in the driveway and then they're leaving that happens all the time I wouldn't have bothered you know if it was like some friendly neighbor that was like I, I wouldn't care I wouldn't care but these people in the last like four years have been in like eight different houses the landlord should have did a better background check we've talked to him and he just feels terrible about the whole situation but, you know with the drive-by shooting and and all the screaming and everything else and I don't I don't know what he's doing to get them out of there I don't think anything but hopefully they'll move out themselves because they're just not the neighbors you would want to have and we live in a nice area this area there has been no problem in the area where we live for ever forever because I've lived in this area my whole life and never has there been a problem in that area and the people that live there have lived there for 20 30 years you know there's older people around and then you know when they pass away their kids will buy their houses because they know it's a good neighborhood so now we got this family living there with all these activities we'll just call them activities daughter's been dropped off she is so funny she really is funny I gave her bugles today I don't know if you guys ever heard of the, the snack bugles and they're shaped kind of you know like a she said to me I think this is just like eating a cornucopia I'm like why how do you know that word she's like four years old and it's like cornucopia I had to laugh she's so funny She's just really funny. I got my parents, I got the computer work done for my mom. She, uh, I made a program for her for a job that she's doing and, and I had to print some stuff off for her. So that got done. And now I'm on my way home. I don't know, I feel like I need a nap, which I might take a nap. But I might get dinner started first because, I don't know, maybe once I lay down I won't be able to get back up. That normally happens. I hope it doesn't smell when I get home. I hope that the police came and put out their, put out their garbage can because, I just hope, because it smelled so bad. It really smelled bad. Plus, I believe there's a law right now in effect that there's like no open burning in Ohio. I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't know. I just don't know. If you like the video, give me a like. Subscribe. That's important. Subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.